Greetings Humanity of the World. Humanity on the Internet. And all participating members. We are anonymous. In news, in which corrupt corporate paid mainstream media will not report. Palestinian children as young as 11 years old. Are being employed under dangerous conditions in Israeli settlements, in the occupied West Bank, in breach of international law, a human rights group said on Monday, April 13, 2015. Hundreds of child laborers are working in farms, and agricultural businesses, in the strategically sensitive Jordan Valley, for just £13, which is in lame English term, $19.24 a day. According to a new report from Human Rights Watch, which documented cases of young people, suffering work-related ill health and injuries. The 74-page report, ripe for abuse. Palestinian child labor in Israeli agricultural settlements in the West Bank. Says, economic hardship is forcing some children to drop out of school, to work in the farms, to support their families. It records instances of children working outdoors, in 100 degree Fahrenheit, which is 38 degree Celsius in temperature, while enduring even hotter conditions inside greenhouses. Israel's settlements are profiting from rights abuses against Palestinian children, said Sarah Leah Whitson, the Human Rights Watch's Middle East and North Africa director. Children from communities impoverished by Israel's discrimination and settlement policies, are dropping out of school, and taking on dangerous work, because they feel they have no alternatives, while Israel turns a blind eye. Some 38 children and 12 adults working on seven settlement farms were interviewed for the report, which states, that children and young people are employed to pick, clean, and pack a range of crops including asparagus, tomatoes, aubergines, sweet peppers, onions, and dates. Much of the produce is exported to European Union countries, and the United States, the report said. أصعب وقت في الصيف لما نفوت في الحمامات تكون الجو حان لما نفوت في الرش في الحمامات ما بيعطونا كفات ولا كمامات عشان الواحد يحافظ على نفسه لو الوضع الاقتصادي أحسن برجع المدرسة أتعلم كمل أنا في الوضع حاضر رح أظل أشتغل وش يجي يعني بس أحاول بيك أدبر أنا أشتغل ضل أشتغل all of those interviewed said, they were recruited by Palestinian middlemen, and described working days starting as early as 5.30 am, and lasting up to 12 hours during the peak harvesting periods. They were often pressured by supervisors, not to take breaks. Among the ill effects reported, were vomiting, dizziness, and skin rashes, from spraying pesticides without adequate protection, and pains from carrying pesticide containers on their backs. Many suffered cuts from using sharp blades to cut onions, sweet peppers, and other crops, the report stated. Heavy machinery also causes injuries. One child said he saw another child who was pinned under a tractor that rolled over, Another boy said he caught his finger in a date sorting machine. The report was denounced as a horrific lie, by David L. Hayani, head of the Jordan Valley Regional Council, who said, there were no so-called children, among the 6,000 Palestinians employed by the authority, which administers the area's 21 settlements. There is no justification for employing children, not just morally and legally, but financially as well he told Israel Radio. Around 4,500 Jewish settlers and 60,000 Palestinians live in the Jordan Valley region, a 75-mile-long strip of land abutting the River Jordan. The area became a major stumbling block in peace talks, which collapsed last year, 
after Benjamin Netanyahu, Israel's Prime Minister, insisted that Israeli troops should remain there indefinitely, after any agreement to guard against invasion, a position rejected by Palestinian negotiators. We are anonymous. We are legion. To Benjamin Netanyahu. No longer can the corrupt corporate paid United States of America can help you. You have crossed too many boundaries on our earth. And we, as humanity, see, that you, must be removed from your so-called reign of power. Immediately. Before you, start World War III. So. Expect that.